So everything that you're about to see in this video literally was one day. So if you never knew that you could have do so much in one day of taking a trip or vacation to Tobago, well you should think twice. So this is our little trip to Tobago. So as we reach, you all can see that the rain was pouring. But rain is only stop right, So now we are at the top of Fort King George. Yeah. So let's have a nice beautiful look overlooking um, the whole of Scarborough. We are approximately 1,000 feet above um, sea level. Y'all. And you always get one of the most majestic view after heavy rainfall. Hey, yo, look at Guti. A 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 Guti. Yo. That is crazy. I actually got him. And he played up here. Wow. A hug. Yeah, boy. That's crazy. So right now we are the beans rest up. So you see that here? Yeah? A washroom with a view. Look at that view there. Look at that view. Oh, that washroom. So this is the overlooking Castara Bay here. Very nice spot to dive. Whole of the Caribbean Sea is quite beautiful. Beautiful Palatuve. Look at that, look at that beauty. So let's say I given you all a little nice um tour around to be cool. We are enjoying the spot. So now we are heading to Palatuve waterfall. I've never been to there, right? So the water is a little cold there and due to heavy rain, the water is not that clean. It's um murky running down the street, uh murky, but Let's see and let's see what's happening. All right, so we're gonna enjoy this view, and um, I'll be taking you along with me. So we're gonna have a lot of fun in this. All right, let's go. Well, if you all don't know me, any way that I go, I need to leave my, or well, I wouldn't say footprint, but my handprint. My hands are need to be done. You understand? So it doesn't matter the place. You have to get the work done. Now the rain starts to fall here now. So you know what's That is even more beautiful. Here. You understand? So, we done heading alongside on Pala Tuve waterfall. How much was it? Having a nice, beautiful um, scenery at the forest. You see, buddy? Morning, morning. Nice stony background here, so now we almost reach the waterfall, making our last bend there. So a nice, beautiful, beautiful view of the waterfall. And you know you always get a waterfall at the best when it's raining, and it's raining right now. So you can imagine how it's gonna look. Let's go. Nice view of the waterfall. Very beautiful. So yeah, what is our waterfall unless we need to go up on top and get the most spectacular view. So now, meet me on top. Here we go. I'm not going on top. Did you have to huh? So now we are going to go on top of the waterfall and see what's happening. <laughs> Having a nice Beautiful view on top of the waterfall. Uh. Wow. It's magnificent. Yo, look at that. Now I'm going to 
troopers high up the force to see what it is to offer. So let's go. go. Take a walk a little higher just to see what's it like, right? Yo, this is like a little gorge. Oh, it's cool. It is cold, but it's beautiful. Wow, truly tremendous. The water is just a little murky, but it's really nice. Where the beauty is. Alright, I'll catch you there. We're gonna go in and see the true beauty. Yeah? down through all the bamboos to the beautiful streams of Palo Tuve y'all that is just truly amazing the majestic view in the rainforest yo that is amazing wow wow you can't you can't get it better than that you can't get a hike better than that because you know you know when it's like that it's too beauty so if you never experienced it before, I urge you all to experience it. I urge you all to experience it because this is what it's all about. Shut up. God green stuff to get beating on the tree. So you all be up in Pigeon Point in now and now we're going to take a little boat to go down in the um, Nylon pool and check out some of the reefs on them. So you all join with me underwater while we have some fun and you see how I just do it. Some nice clear crystal water. Alright, hope you all enjoy this video and don't forget to give me a subscribe. You understand? Having fun, nature, adventure, diving, you name it. I'm out here bringing that energy to you all. Beautiful. Pigeon Point and uh, what's the sound white look at the water 
Oh, my water has be brown water, white. Look at that. White sand, white water. So, yeah, stay tuned, y'all. We have another put the division in the stick up. You can come out, you come out. You come out, you come out, you come out, you come out. Daddy, you want me going in? Yeah. Don't touch them. Don't touch them. Don't touch them, don't touch them. But then the bird eat them and eat the fish. Don't ever touch it. Them ain't going to fight. Yeah. Man interfering. Yeah, one of them big turkey come up here and lay the egg stupidly. Where? Yeah. About to head to the water. Stupidly. They don't know. They don't know. They don't know. They don't know. I know she done more than you as you need this. Enjoy both of them. We have lots of turtles heading down to find them. Get back in the ocean, How literally lucky we are. We actually visiting some baby turtles. I mean, you know, the way how this mother find out that all these spots, all the nice places, this mom come, came here to lay her eggs. And now we don't know where the hole is exactly, but we just seen a lot of baby turtles. As you all see, it's just coming out a lot, a lot. Look, and look at this little baby. Look at the speed. So they all is a battle to the water, so we're just making sure that no predators is actually gonna take them, birds, crabs, whatever, make sure they get to the water safely. Haters gonna say we didn't eat the baby, but we didn't eat the So where's the man? Down in the forest, we headed down into a different island, you understand? We ain't not a baby. Paris! Yes, so let's see what's happening here. Are we gonna go down? Let's see what's happening. Upon taking the first dive, first of all, the water is crystal clear. Crystal clear. And what makes it even better, you see those white sand? Makes the water so. Huh, it, it just it just beyond imagination. Hopefully I could see some sort of life um, that I can show you all because right now I'm seeing no life, I'm just seeing beautiful white sand and some seaweeds and that's it, that's it. So I'll continue looking and let's see, so right now we probably have about 5 feet of water and that's it. Let's go. So I'm back again, there's so many really nice seaweed here and looking for some fishes, looking for some sort of life in this beautiful uh, seabed. But unfortunately, I haven't seen any as yet to show you all. But let's just enjoy the beautiful um, scenery that we are witnessing here together, I must say. So, this is my first sort of life. Um, it's a yellow tail carrying grass. in particular was a one of my um, amazing kind it has a lobster inside of it but unfortunately um, I wouldn't be able to show you all the lobsters because I would have to open the clamp and I would damage the clamp so yeah Second stop, I want to believe it's no man's land or no man's bay. Correctly, but um, to here it appears to be more life, more um, life in the water to be exact. So we we'll always see that. Coming. That was actually a lobster. A baby lobster. Wow, that was so cool. Yeah. 
So this is me trying to see if I can get the lobster so I can show you all what due to how shallow the water was it just keep getting murky by every rock that I lift up. Um, but I actually found something that was a bit scary <laughs> at first when I saw it. It's a uh, you all see. It. To be honest, I was scared to hold it. I'm not sure if this is um, poisonous, but it's a very, very scary looking starfish. Very scary, but was cute.
so at this point here I'm basically going to do a countdown right I did a countdown so I could swim down but what happened the volume of salt in the water was so hard to keep myself down in the water because I always keep floating back up so you always see how I'm just I'm like fighting to go down <laughs> so this actually drained a lot a lot a lot of my energy and um, I decided to reset this but yo the ambience is crazy I realized in the back of this bay there's a little mangrove. So I just said let me come around to see what it is and see because I love the beautiful um, spiral looking on the mangroves and those those clams or oh, I want to believe those are muck that is on the mangroves. Yo this is so amazing. I feel like I'm in some sort of spring or something. But bro, the ambience of this was just majestic, it was just beyond words can even explain. How this was. This is just a feeling I can only, I can only just speak it. Oh y'all, we are at English man, no, not English. No, so uh, y'all, so now we are at No Man's Bay. <laughs> so, um, at the back of it here, we're by the mangroves, and it has one of the most majestic views with the mangroves. And you see, y'all can see, <laughs> y'all can see yeah. So I uh, just kept in there's a lot of muck in the water. And uh, we're gonna take a walk through now to the mangrove and I'll give you a nice view of um, the spiral of mangrove uh, and this bay here. This is really really beautiful. So let's go into the mangrove and see what is here. Oh. Sure, I'm basically not looking for anything, just just basically just walking. There's a uh, swimming advent here uh, at this best. See, and swimming the net here of this place. It's truly beautiful, I must say. Like this, it's, really, it's really, 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 really beautiful. So yeah, hope you all guys enjoying this. And um, please, please, please. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you all enjoy what I'm doing and um, enjoy the nature that I'm bringing you all, bringing to you all. Um, live entertainment, live fun, laughter, enjoyment. You know, most of all, you know what I mean. Life is short, and you want to make the best out of it. All right. So do everything and make sure. Uh, you do it with a smile on your face all right so yeah subscribe